Hello everyone, welcome to the video series of Basic Electrical Engineering Lab. Today we will be discussing our next experiment which is to perform the open circuit test on a single phase transformer to find out our core losses. Right. So this here is the connection diagram for our experiment. Here you can see that this is a single phase supply and this here is our variac through which we will be varying our supply. So you can consider this portion as your variac. This here is our ammeter which will be giving us the no load current. This here is our voltmeter. This is our wattmeter and here is our transformer whose secondary side or you can say high voltage side has been open circuited to perform the open circuit test. So let us now check how these equipments actually look like. This is our single phase transformer which has primary side and secondary side. You all are familiar with your watt meter this is the watt meter which we will be using and these two are very familiar equipment which are your ammeter and voltmeter and this here is the variac through which we will be giving our supply. Let us now check how these components are interconnected to give us the desired output. You can see here the one end of your variac is going to your ammeter. You can check here your one end is going to your ammeter another end is going to the watt meter terminal you can check here another end is coming to V terminal of your watt meter which is somewhere here and we will be using the 300 volt terminal because we are as a rule we should always select the terminal higher than the rated voltages. So as far as the other two terminals of your wattmeter are concerned which are L and your V, L is going to your transformer and also V terminal is also going to low voltage winding of your transformer which is here. This is your L and transformer connection and this is your V and transformer connections and we have also connected this voltmeter to measure the no load voltage. So let us now proceed to perform our open circuit test. You can see here clearly that the secondary side has been open circuited. Now the first step in the procedure would be to turn on the supply and change the dial of your variac. So you can see here clearly that your voltage is increasing. Alright, so we have provided with 230 volts rated voltage which can be seen here clearly in the voltmeter and for that voltage our current comes out to be approximately 0.1 amperes. And let us now check the watt meter reading which would give us the core losses. So the copper losses are negligible here because our, the value of our I0 is very small. So therefore its square will also be very small. So let us now check out what our watt meter is. Showing. So our watt meter is giving us approximately 0.7 watts and as I have told you in previous experiments also in addition to the reading shown by the pointer we also need to multiply the reading of watt meter by its multiplication factor which in this case is 8. Let us now jot down our readings onto the observation table. No load voltage came out to be 230 volts. Our no load current was 0 0.1 ampere and our core losses or you can say the reading of our watt meter was 
zero point seven watts, and we also need to multiply it with its multiplication factor. So it will come around five point six watts. If you need to find out the power factor, you can also find out with the help of formula W naught divided by V naught I naught. So we have already performed our open circuit test. Let us now move on to the short circuit test of our single phase transformer. So the only difference here is in previous case we have open circuited the secondary side of this transformer but in this case what we are going to do is we are going to short circuit it and in this case this test is performed at rated current flowing in both the winding basically iron loss is occurring in the transformer under this condition will be negligible because very low voltage has been applied so we will be applying a very low voltage which is only 5 to 8 percent of the rated voltage to the other winding so we can say that the total losses occurring under short circuit will mainly be copper losses which will be indicated by this watt meter previously this watt meter was showing us the core losses but in this case what it will be showing us it will be showing us the copper losses of the transfer so as far as the rated current is concerned we can see here on the panel of transformer that its rated current is around 4.3 amperes so we'll be giving it 4.3 amperes from the supply the procedure here will remain same what we are going to do is we are going to switch on the supply and we'll also turn on our multimeter in this case we have used a digital multimeter you can also use a analog one like we used in the previous case but in this case precise reading is required therefore we have used a digital one so we are providing it with a rated current which is approximately 4.3 ampere so we have provided it with 4.3 amperes you can see here clearly in the multimeter which is being used as a ammeter so now let us check the readings of our voltmeter and watt meter respectively short circuit voltage is concerned the voltmeter is giving us 15 volts the only difference here is we have changed the voltmeter to a lower rating voltmeter and as far as your watt meter is concerned it is showing us 25 the observation watts. table we are getting a short circuit voltage of 15 volts and a short circuit current which was your rated current given to us was 4.3 amperes and the reading of watt meter was 25 watts in addition to that we will also have to multiply it with the multiplication factor of the watt meter which is 2 in this case which would give us approximately 50 watts